Recently, we were interviewed at home on one of those television programs where the man sits in the studio and the cameras are in your home. I think it was called People to People. Anyway, here's what happened. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're visiting the home of David Seville and the Chipmunks. I believe they're expecting us. Oh, there's Dave now. Good evening, Dave. Oh, uh, hello, Harry. Um, hello, Dave. Oh, there, there you are, Harry. Uh, yes. Well, uh, what a lovely home. What room are we in now, Dave? This is the living room, Harry. Uh, we live here. Say, is that a piano there? Piano? Oh, yes. That is a piano there. Uh, here. See? Very nice. And where are the boys, Dave? Right over here, Harry. Simon. Hi. Hello, Simon. And Theodore. Hello, Theodore. And this is Alvin. Alvin? Psst, Alvin! Uh, tell me, Dave, what's Alvin really like? Well, he's just an average, normal, healthy, unaffected... Hello, Harry, baby! Come on, Alvin, cut that out. Well, I suppose you and the boys receive a lot of fan mail. Uh... Oh, the usual amount. My goodness, what do they all write about? Well, here's a letter from a boy named Melvin... He wants to know to what do the boys owe their success. Hard work, good food, talent. Hey. Well, thank you, boys, and thank you, Dave, for allowing us to visit your home. Thank you. It was nice having you. Thank you. Uh, goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, boys. And now, ladies and gentlemen... I'd like to break the show. I knew it. And fight with the squirrel. Alvin. I like to pull pigtails. Alvin. Simon, Theodore. I'm in school. Alvin, just a minute. But we don't like to study much. Arithmetic makes me sick. Alvin, like what do you mean you like to fight with squirrels and pull pigtails on fire? Good night and lots of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce that great inventor, Thomas. No! Alexander Graham! No! Wilbur and Orville! No! Well, then who? Clyde Crash Cop! Clyde Crash... Clyde Crash Cop? Science lovers of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Leonardo... On this momentous occasion, I, Clyde Crashcup, inventor of the wheel, the internal combustion engine, and the horse, to name but a few, shall unveil my latest invention. Soap. That's sir for sir and ope for ope soap. Oh, that's a very good question, Leonardo. I have been asked an intelligent question, ladies and gentlemen. What is soap for? And to that question, I shall give an intelligent answer. 
Soap is for eating. It is palatable to the palate, delightful to the nostril, vitamin enriched and highly digestible. And, as Socrates once said, the proof of the soap is in the eating. So, <coughs> how did it taste? Excellent. <coughs> A little water, Leonardo. Yes, really delicious. I believe I have done it again. <coughs> Uh, what have we here? A bubble. A little miracle of nature. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Innocent bubble. You know not trouble. <laughs> ah, well. Back to science. Curious effect water has on soap. Indeed curious. It creates bubble. Burr for burr and ubble for ubble. Bubble. Does that suggest anything to you, Leonardo? Of course it doesn't. But never mind. My genius is enough for two. Let me see. Dirt. Clean. Cleanliness. Cleanliness next to friendliness. I have it. Quick, Leonardo. Back to the laboratory. There. Another scientific breakthrough. My latest invention. <laughs> the bathtub. Within this vessel, ladies and gentlemen, man may soak luxuriously in rich, creamy suds. And now, on with the bath. Ladies and gentlemen, a bath is comprised of four elements. The soap, the bathtub, the water, and me. Voila! I love life, and life loves me. <laughs> oh, uh, Leonardo, open the drain. Uh, uh, unleash the drain. The drain, Leonardo! What do you mean I forgot to invent the drain? Ridiculous, Leonardo. I never forget. You forget. Folks, I hope to be back with you next week, but in the meantime, I must invent swimming. But now let me see. Uh, one, uh, two, stroke. Up. Folks, Dave would like to sing a song for you now. So how about it, Dave? Ready to do your solo? Well, gee, Alvin, I hadn't planned anything. Well, if you hadn't planned anything, how come you have the orchestra sitting over there, and how come you asked me to ask you to sing? Alvin, you didn't have to say that in front of all these people. Ah, uh, they won't mind, Dave. Go on and sing. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. Hold it, Dave. Hold it. Let's face it. You need us. Yeah, Dave. You better let us do it with you. Alvin's right, Dave. Okay, fellas. We make a pretty good team at that. Let's try it your way. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. And then the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said that... <laughs> You didn't love me true I told the witch doctor You didn't love me nice And then the witch doctor He gave me this advice He said that So much wiser, and he taught me the way to win your heart. <laughs> <laughs>